Number one benefit of having a manual transmission, you can bump start it. So last night we were blasting the radio in this thing and she said, aren't you gonna kill your battery? I said, I don't care, cause I'm parked on a hill and I could bump start it. Well, indeed, we came out to start this thing this morning. The battery doesn't have enough juice to crank her over. However, enough juice to fire the ignition system so I can just put it in gear and bump start this thing, no problem. Keep in mind this works for if your starter motor ever goes bad too. Get rolling. And then just pop that clutch. Boom! Look at that. So you could do that with a weak battery. Of course, if the battery was completely dead, it might not work that good. You might need more of a hill because the alternator would have to start turning to get the 12 volts for the ignition. But also keep in mind you need a hill. If you were parked this way, you could do that in reverse gear. And if you have uh, gravel like this uh, or sand, you would want to leave it in four-wheel drive. So because those wheels need to have enough traction to spin the motor over. But yeah, cannot do that with an automatic transmission. I killed my battery last night like a dummy, but we're still gonna get out all right. I actually have a jump battery in the bed too, but you know, we're good on all angles. <laughs> Just to recap on how to do that, I'm leaving this in four wheel high. We're in the second gear. You turn your ignition on, take parking brake off. Once you get rolling a little bit, I'm gonna snap off the clutch. And as soon as you feel that engine start to turn over, push the clutch back in and it should start. So here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get just enough momentum. Snap off and then push the clutch right back to the floor immediately. So point down to the clutch here real quick. Like as soon as I felt the momentum, I snapped off that left pedal just enough to get the engine to turn and push it right back in. That's how you bump start a car. Now, yes, you can do that with two-wheel drive, and if you have a four-wheel drive that's push-button and it uses electronics, it may or may not go into four-wheel drive. This thing has a manual transfer case. The only reason I use the four-wheel is to get extra traction. If you're on sand or gravel, those rear wheels might not get enough bite to turn the engine over. They might just skid. So, yeah, hopefully that's a good explanation on how to bump start, and that's my favorite reason why manual transmission is better than automatic. Airlocker engaged. This is one ledge here. All right, airlocker for the win, baby. Brought us right over that lift. Not too bad. Not too bad at all.